Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I've got my coffee. This mug is from Yellowstone National Park. Reminds me of an amazing trip my family and I went on down there. We went on a road trip through the, what was it called? The Oregon Coast. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my words are gone. Um, yeah, we did a beautiful 17 day road trip through the Oregon Coast and uh, we went to Yellowstone National Park. It was amazing, awesome, awesome trip. And this is my mug, my big mug. <laughs> <laughs> um, today is Fun Fold Friday, and I've got a fun card to share with you. It's called a Theater Fold card. Hello, hi, happy Friday to you too, Kathy. Hi, everybody that's popping on. Hi, Joan, good morning. It's called a Theater Fold, and I was inspired by uh, Don Griffith from Dan's, Dawn's Stamping Thoughts. Dawn is a lovely lady. I was inspired by her uh, card and I'm taking my own spin on this one. So hopefully you'll like this card. Uh, this is a great one. I, well, you'll see more when I flip it over and show it, flip my camera and show you. Hi, Jen, yeah, happy Friday to you too. Thank you all, everybody. Hi, Sylvia, hi, Kathy Jean. All right, let's get started. There's a, quite a bit of pieces I wanna share with you here. So we're gonna flip my camera. Hi, Grace from Kitchener, Ontario. Thank you for joining me. I do wanna share with you, see my hoodie that I'm wearing? This is my Ink Sided Canadians team. <laughs> so I wanna ask you guys, is this the weekend that you join my team and you get that $91 worth of free product? Because it is like the best deal ever. I wish I could sign up again to get $91 of free product. It's actually more than $91 because the deal is $135, but it's all you pay. No shipping, no tax, and you get to pick $165 worth of product. Plus, Stampin' Up! is going to give you $91 in in-color products. It is like the best deal ever. I keep talking about it because it's the best, right? So I would love to see that email come through um, notifying me that you joined my team. Then I can invite you to our Ink Sighted Canadians uh, Facebook page. We actually have our team meeting on Sunday. Uh, we gather virtually once a month. Uh, the second Sunday of the month, which was last Monday, uh, Mother's our Sunday Mother's Day. So we're doing it this weekend instead because you know most of us are moms and uh, we wanted to spend the the day on Mother's Day with our family. So we're having our team meeting this coming Sunday, and I cannot wait to gather with them. And I loved, I'd love to join you, to have you join us, right, on that team Facebook uh, meeting that we have once a month. Hello, everybody. Thank you all for popping on. Okay, so let's flip the camera, point you down at my work surface here, and let's get started. Here we go. So we are going to take you down here to my work surface, straighten you up a little bit. And, whoops, let's see. Might need to raise up just a smidge. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna slide down here. Tighten everything up so we don't have any slip sliding going on. All right, so we have, we're gonna play with some beautiful paper that you can see here on my desk. This is from the Happiness, Hues of Happiness paper. Um, let me just double check here. Uh, yes, Hues of Happiness. I've shown this one a couple of times on camera, the beautiful flowers. We have dyes that cut out the flowers. But today, we're gonna use this beautiful pattern with the Knight of Navy background and all these little tiny um, flowers coming through. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Favorite day of the week for me too, Lynn. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we're gonna play with this. Let me show it. Let me bring in the card and share with you. This is what we're making today, you guys. This is called a theater card. Where are my theater loving friends? This is like open the curtain, right? To the theater and reveal what's behind the curtains. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Here's the top version or the top view. So we're gonna make this fun card today. Okay, so we've got a bunch of pieces here. I will be posting, this post will go live if not later today, then tomorrow on my blog. I have an appointment I need to get to as soon as I'm done this video. So depending on how long that appointment is, um, I'll get that posted for you. But I am inspired by Dawn Griffith's video, so you can check hers out. I will post that in my post as well, her, the link to her video, and she's done some different stamp sets, so it's great to see a different take on things. 
Okay, so what do we need? We have two pieces of fresh freesia cardstock that measure four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's those two. We're gonna start with making that beautiful frame in the front. So we're gonna use some designer series paper here. This piece measures um, four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna put that right on top of here. So I'll tell you the measurements of each piece as we do them. How's that? That, that sounds like a plan, <laughs> but you will, get, you will get all these measurements over on my blog at rosecoleman.com um, either later today or tomorrow. Those will be loaded up for you. And you can always, of course, catch this video and get that as your instructions. So I'm actually going to put quite a bit of glue on the back of this because we're going to cut a frame out of the center of this. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it onto my Fresh Freesia cardstock here just like that and then to cut the frame we're going to use our uh re rich oh my goodness re stitched rectangles and i'm going to use the fourth largest one which is this one right here okay so we're going to use that to cut out the frame of the center of this combination here so let's grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine and we're gonna do that right away and get that out of the way. This is the only thing I need to do using my, my best friend here, my stamp and cut and emboss machine. So I'm just gonna put this frame in the center just like that, put my top plate on, and we're gonna roll it through. Easy peasy. Okay, so there we go, we've got that done. Let's see what we've got here. There's our pieces, and we're gonna just take a look. So this center piece, let's peel this up and it's cut really nicely. I love that it's given me this stitching. I don't know if you can see that, but the stitching has stayed on my frame. And now this piece, I can hold on to that and use it on another project, right? So I've got that, I'm gonna put that off to the side. So that's my frame for the front of this theater card. Okay, so now, what do we wanna do now? We're gonna use the we have two pieces. I have two pieces I want to share with you and the measurements and the scoring of these. These are my curtains, okay? So if you're going to a theater, the curtains that open up, the, you need two of them, right? So the measurements for these are four by five and a half. And I'm, I've scored them at one and three eighths of an inch and two and three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna bring in my bone folder and I'm gonna score these really, really well. You really wanna make sure, when you're doing fun folds, scoring is essential, right? Because things, things move, you know? So you wanna make sure that those score lines are nice and crisp. So we're just gonna bring in the bone folder and score these up. Okay, so we have our two um, curtains, if you will, and they're gonna sit like Let's see, let's flip this around. <laughs> They're gonna sit like this, there we go. Flip it around like this, okay. So this this is how the curtain, the curtains work, right? So if you're vi vi very visual like me, you'll wanna know how to put this together. So we have our other piece of Fresh Freesia. Remember at the beginning I said we have two pieces that measure four and a quarter by five and a half. This is our back piece here. So we're gonna stick everything down on our back platform. And these are our two curtains. So let's just, first thing we're gonna do is bring in some designer series paper and we're going to put some on the inside of this, on these big pieces. So I have my designer series paper, two pieces again that measure, let's see, two and five eighths of an inch by three and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, I've got two of those. And I also have two pieces that measure three and seven eighths of an inch by one and a quarter, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we are going to put, I'm just trying to see, I think I might have this, oh yeah, like this, okay. So we're gonna put these on first. Let's just put the glue on first. Let's get the glue on and then we'll figure out. I know where they're gonna go, it's just the direction. <laughs> so we're just gonna just bring in my glue and add that to my designer series paper. Might as well put the glue on all of it while we're going, right? So we're just gonna add our glue and this big piece goes on the big panel, just like that. All right, and then this piece, the one and a quarter inch piece, 
goes, let's see, make sure I'm doing this the proper way. Yes, goes here, right next to it, okay? So we've got that, like that. And then the same thing on this one. So you wanna put your big piece of DSP on the big panel. It's pretty self-explanatory actually where it goes. And then this one goes right next to it. There we go. So let's bring in the background of our card. So we've got our background here and we're going to, remember I was mentioning how these are slightly different in size. This one measures four inches and my background measures four and a quarter. And it's ever so slight, um, but it is important that you have that little bit of a difference and, and I'll explain why in just a second. So we are going to put this down here on our piece, let's see. I wanna make sure that I'm not doing this backwards. So this one goes here, <laughs> like so. Let's put the glue on the back. So we're gonna put the glue on this back panel. And we're gonna take this and we're going to put it right up at the top, flush with the edge, no gaps at all. And let's see, I think I'm having a problem with this one. Yeah, okay, that's why. <laughs> All right, so I've put my glue on the wrong side. Okay, so it's supposed to go like this, but that's okay, we can fix that. Because directionally challenged. <laughs> Let's see, we've got this one going, yeah, okay. No, you're supposed to fold it away from you. I've only ever made one of these cards, so now I'm, I'm uh, just guessing here. Second guessing what I've got done. Okay, we may have to start over. Facebook Live, you know, you know how it goes. So this one's gonna go like, yeah, it's supposed to be glue on the back, but we can fix this. I can fix it. There's a way to fix everything, right? So we're gonna put it like this. <laughs> and we're gonna put a little bit of glue, a little bit of cardstock to cover that up because no one's gonna see that piece. So here's how we fix it. We take my, my ruler and we measure. So it's one and a half by four. So I need a piece of fresh freesia to cover up my glue. This is how you can fix things. This is good. <laughs> so I need a one and a half by four inch piece of cardstock to cover up my mistake. One and a half, real life crafting here again today. It's what you guys come to see, right? Real life crafting. <laughs> one and a quarter, or sorry, one and a half by four will cover up my boo-boo. Now, you probably have, actually, let's make that a little bit smaller. Let's make it one and a quarter. You probably have uh, solutions to remove glue. Maybe you have a special rubber tool. We used to sell one. Stampin' Up! used to sell one years ago. Um, the rubber eraser that you could put, you could use that to rub off the glue, but we don't have sell that anymore. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna bring that out, right? I only use current products. Okay, this is how we are supposed to have it like this. So then this one is gonna go on like so, like this. Nope, it's gotta go this way. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so the, <laughs> this is how it goes, like on the back here. So when you watch this video, you'll laugh again, right? Okay, so we're gonna take this one and we're gonna put it right up to the edge, really like flush with the edge and I'm leaving. I'll hold this up close to the camera. Just give me one second. I'll just get this glued down and I'll show you. We've just got a little tiny bit on that side. Can you see that little it's like one eighth of an inch on both sides, but we're flush with the edge. And then this is the curtain, the curtain part of this card. I don't know why I just made that so complicated, but this is how it goes together. Just like that, okay? Okay, so it's, let's set this off to the side. We're gonna do some stamping on this section right here. And for this section, I have a piece of basic white cardstock that measures two and five eighths of an inch by four. So let's do some stamping. Let's bring in the Sweet Song Words stamp set, this one right here, and we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on the inside. I'm gonna make this a birthday card. So I wanna use, on the outside, um, we're gonna stamp a little birdie told me, so I'll put that off to the side. We're gonna stamp, you've got something to celebrate. So let's bring in 
my memento ink here. Now, if I'm missing any of your comments, I will come back, I promise. So please, please leave, you, leave me your comments. I'd love to know. If you have questions, if you have comments about anything, please just let me know. All right, so we are going to stamp uh, this bird right here, the little bird. And I'm gonna stamp him in Tahitian Tide. Oh, one of my favorite, favorite um, new in colors. So I'm gonna stamp the bird first, the bird body. And stamp him right here, like that. Then I'm gonna stamp his little beak. There's even a little stamp for his beak, you guys. And here it is, I have it on my block. I'm gonna stamp his beak in Parakeet Party. Beautiful green color. Let's move my little flower off here. Oftentimes I put two stamps on a block just to save, you know, blocks. So there's our little uh, beak. Let's bring in my chamois and we'll clean that up. And I'm gonna take that off and put it right back in my case. It's a really good practice to put things back in your case when you're done, because you know, things can go missing. And then I'll put that little flower on there because we're gonna need that in a second. Okay. So uh, this little birdie needs feet. There's a little feet for both birds in this set. So I've got my me memento. Let's bring that back and we're gonna stamp the little feet underneath him. Oh, so cute. Okay, so we've got the feet. Now he needs some eyes. We can give, I'm gonna give this little bird eyes wide open <laughs> like that. <laughs> and we're also gonna stamp that little flower. I thought this would be a cute little flower to stamp in his or her, her hair. So I'm going to put a little flower right there. Oh my gosh, I love it. And let's see, I have the nest. There's a nest in this set and I've been dying to stamp that one. So let's bring in some soft suede ink and we're going to stamp this nest right at the bottom like that. Okay, so there we've got the nest, we've got the little bird and... You guys know how I love this to sponge my edges. So I'm going to use my Fresh Freesia ink and I'm going to uh, sponge the edges of my cardstock piece just to kind of soften it up a little bit. We've got a sponge here. Now we don't sell these sponges anymore, but we do have the, the uh, sponge daubers, right? And those are fantastic. I just had to order some more for all my new in colors. I'm just adding a little bit of this Fresh Freesia by dipping into the ink pad and then just kind of scraping the, the edges of my cardstock. And that makes it look nice and soft. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my glue on the back. I'm gonna put this down on the inside of my theater card. This is the, the bird that is behind the curtains. <laughs> She's all decked off, right? With her little flower in her hair and she is behind the curtain waiting. So we gotta put this in first before we build this card because otherwise it would be really hard to put that in. So there she is behind the curtain. Okay, so we got the curtain, we've got the frame for the front. Now I wanna share with you um, how we're going to, uh, let's let's bring the frame in first. So you wanna, when you give send a card to someone you and, you, and it's an opening card, it's really nice to put a little notch so that they know, oh, my thumbs go there and there's something to pull, right? So I'm gonna use this one, label me fancy die, um, punch, not a die, it's a punch. And let me just double check here. I'm just double checking my list to make sure that's the name of it. Yes, it's called label me fancy. Really nice punch, has a great little inside part that you can stamp your greetings. It has this side over here that you can punch to string ribbon through things. And on this side, it has a circle punch. So it's like really like a three in one punch. But I'm gonna use it on the side and just get this little arc here to make a little, um, just a tiny little thumb, thumb notch, just like that. We used to have a one inch circle, a three quarter inch circle. If you have those in your collection, you could use those as well for this part, right? So I just wanna use something that's current. And I'm also gonna use this for my front greeting as well. Okay, so now this is going to, um, we need to create a little, uh, some little pockets for, for our mechanism to slide through. And I know that probably doesn't make sense, but it will when I show you. So let's bring back this piece. And I also have two pieces of designer series paper 
that measure half an inch, just half an inch wide by eight and a half inches long. So you need two of those. And I'm gonna use glue dots. Let me grab my glue dots. They are here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this designer series paper and these two little flaps, we're gonna wrap these around these flaps like belly bands, but you don't wanna wrap it too, too tight. I'm just gonna wrap it and we're just gonna grab a glue dot. I'm gonna grab one with my take your pick tool and I'm gonna put that right on the end of this DSP right there. And then I'm just gonna fold this down, but not too tightly, just a little. So it looks like this, it's a little belly band and I can easily slide it on and off if I wanted to, but it's gonna secure this mechanism together. So I can, I'm gonna slide that off right now because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put another one on here just for the, the measurement, right? Because we're gonna have one on either side. So I'm just gonna line this up, put it down like that, grab another glue dot. Okay, so let's grab a glue dot, put that on the end and then wrap. We'll just wrap this down nice and loosely not too tight but but it's on there right so now there's my belly bands got those two belly bands now where do they go they're going to go on this frame so let's bring back my frame i want my belly bands to sit right up here and here okay so i'm going to bring in tear tape all the different adhesives today so i'm going to use tear tape to secure this down so I'm going to put purposely put it on the side where the seam is so let's grab a little bit of tear tape and we'll kind of go across here tear tape is definitely strong when you're making boxes or anything that needs to be held together really good and I love my liquid glue you could use liquid glue for this as well but I just um, I think this is a cleaner option for this part of my project so we're going to put the Put the uh, tear tape on and then I'm going to peel up the wax paper backing on both of these and we're going to put these into place. So again, I'm going to put them right at the top here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So what was that measurement? Carol, do you mean the bands? It's all going to be in my blog post. I will post it. But these are a half an inch by eight and a half inch strips. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right on here. I'm, I'm coming in close to the bottom part because I wanna have enough room for my recipient to put their thumb and to be able to um, pull this uh, theater card open. All right, so let's do that on the other side. Okay, so this is going right here. Again, I'm leaning towards the inside lip of the window so that I'm keeping my little tabs clear, okay? So then this, and this have to go together. So what we're gonna do is take this arm and we're gonna slide it into this belly band and we know it fits because we used it to make the card, right? To, to make the belly band. So that one goes in there and then this one goes in this side. And these, are, these little belly bands are the anchor for my theater card, for my curtains. Isn't that cool? I just love it. So that's, that's pretty much it for the mechanism and how the card works. Like that, you can expose your little, uh, your, your little birdie behind the, the curtain and then you can close it up and then the entire card will fit in your regular um, envelope, right? So it's the same size as a normal card. There's an aerial shot, <laughs> um, but we're not done yet. We still have to do a little bit of decorating, right? We need a front greeting. So we're gonna stamp. Let's see, I have this one. A little birdie told me. So let's stamp that onto some scrap white. Let me just see if I have a bit of scrap white here on my desk. There's always scrap paper on my desk. Here we go. So we're gonna stamp that with fresh freesia. No, sorry, I'm gonna sponge it with fresh freesia when I'm done. We're gonna stamp it with memento. <laughs> we're gonna stamp that here with memento. And I'm gonna bring in my label me fancy dot, um, punch. I'm gonna slide that in, line it up, and punch it, okay? So we're gonna punch that out, and then I'm going to add that Fresh Freesia color to the edges again, just soften it up a little bit. And we're gonna stick this down onto one of the curtains, okay? So you wanna put it, whoops, everything's going flying here. 
<laughs> you want to put it on one of the curtains. I'm going to put it on this left one here, but you don't want to use a dimensional. Intentionally, I don't want to use a dimensional because I don't want it to hook. When I'm sliding, it has to slide. It has to slide nicely. Okay, so I'm going to use my liquid glue and I'm going to make sure I put it on the right side. Flipping it up and checking, it's going over here, just on half, right? So let's close up the card and we're going to put this in the center. But remember, it's only adhered, it's only glued down on the left hand side. So then it's like, like so. Make sure that, give that a second to stick. And then you can see how this is going to slide over and it's not going to um, bring up or anything, right? Like if I put a dimensional there, it would just be too thick. Okay, so there's the front. We, I still have a couple other things I want to do. We have to bring the birds in, right? So I have some scrap for Shreesha cardstock. Let's bring that bird punch in. This bird punch is really fun to use. I'm going to punch one of these out of fresh freesia. So I've got my bird. Basically, I just want the bird and I want one of the wings. Now, when you stamp, you have to make sure that you're stamping and you're going to punch over your image. But And the image is, um, let's bring my stamp set in. This is the image that coordinates with the punch. But if you want a bird that's pointing the other way, you can go ahead and punch one out and you can flip it over the other way, right? Isn't that fun? So I want one going one way and one going the other way. So I've got my Fresh Freesia cardstock. I'm going to just add a little bit of hint of Fresh Freesia to the edges of this punched out piece just to highlight it a bit more. And then as well on the leaf, on the leaf, I keep calling this a leaf. It's not a leaf. It's a wing. <laughs> it's a wing. And I'm going to bring in a dimensional. We're going to pop this wing up and we're going to put it right here. So you see, I'm just using the punched out images, the punches, and creating a bird that points in the other direction. So I want to give this bird some eyes. So I've got the little eyes that are closed. The stamp set has both closed eyes and open eyes. I love that. So I'm going to stamp with my memento and we'll do eyes like that. Then I have some pumpkin pie cardstock. Bring back my punch. And I'm going to need two of these beaks. So we'll just pop that in there. We've got one orange beak, pumpkin pie orange, and two. Just get rid of my little scraps here. Okay, to put these on, I like to use a glue dot. It just makes it easier and cleaner. So let's grab a glue dot. My glue dots are just going crazy here. This got to keep this rolled up <laughs> so they don't stick anywhere that they're not supposed to. So let's grab a little glue dot and put it right in place right there. And I'll go ahead and pick up his beak and put his, his beak on. So there's my one little birdie. And I want that birdie to be up in this corner. So I'm gonna take a dimensional and I'm gonna intentionally put the dimensional on the edge over here. And then I'm just gonna pick up my little bird and put it on the card, but I'm being very, um, careful not to stick it out over the edge because we've used up the maximum amount on this card, right? I want it to be able to fit in my envelope. So I'm just lining up the tail and the wing, making sure it's not sticking out over the edge. So there's my bird up in that corner. And then to balance this out, I want to put a bird down in this corner and I'm going to do a slightly different one. This time, my bird is going to point the direction of the punch the way it's intended, right? With the, with the stamping. I'm bringing in this is the Orchid Oasis Glimmer Paper. Oh my heavens. When you join my um, my In Color Club by Sunday, that Sunday's the deadline, um, you're gonna get, when it's your, like whatever month it is, like every month you're gonna get a feature color. Now this is the Orchid uh, Oasis. We have all the colors, right? And you're gonna get all the glimmer paper in that month, whatever particular month it is. So I'm super excited about this glimmer paper. It is so fun. So I punched that out and I'm gonna put the wing on a dimensional and we're gonna stick that onto his body here. And again, I want a glue dot for his beak. So let's grab a glue dot and put that in place. Like these punched out characters come together so quickly. Let's put the beak in the right direction. <laughs> there we go, there's a beak 
And last but not least, he needs some eyes, but you can't stamp on glimmer paper, right? I guess you could, but I don't think it, it doesn't really work that well in my experience. So I'm gonna use my favorite matte black dots and I'm gonna put those into place. They stick very nicely to my glimmer paper. So one there and one there, <laughs> so cute. All right, so then I'm gonna put him down in this corner. So let's grab another dimensional and we'll put the dimensional in place down here. And we're gonna do the same thing. Just make sure you're lining up that tail and making sure that he's not sticking out over the edge. And actually this one, let's see, I might have to lift this up a bit. because You don't want it to be too far out. And I might actually put a second one on here. Let's put a second dimensional down here and make sure he's anchored there very nicely and he's not gonna fly off. No flying birds. All right, so there we have it. We have our two birds on there. <laughs> and then we can do this again, let's see. And then the theater card opens, <laughs> the curtain opens and exposes that little bird on the inside. A little bird told me that you've got something to celebrate. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, I wanna make a bunch of these cards using some different suites, some different product suites that we have. Can you imagine the, the stamps and dies and punches that you have in your collection and how you could make a fun theater card? I am so in love with these. So there's my first card that I made. This one is, is the inside, but it doesn't have the frame but because I slid it out, but there's the frame with the little belly bands and you can easily do these as separate pieces and then slide them together. <laughs> Thank you so much, Betty. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna leave this separate. There we go. So they're separate together and they do make a, a wonderful, fun um, theater card. Thank you so much, everybody. Let me flip you back around. Hopefully I didn't lose you. <laughs> I love Funfold Friday. It is, I mean, all cards are beautiful, right? Like it, whichever way they fold, but it's just something interactive about a card when you open it and it moves and it has moving pieces. It's such a fun thing to do. So I hope I've inspired you to get out your stamp, sink, and paper this weekend and to make a card, send a card, and join my team or join my, my In Color Club. I have so many things that I wanna share with you, you guys. Thank you so much. If you live in Canada and you need any of this stuff, please reach out to me. I'd love to help you get started. If this is brand new to you, do not be overwhelmed. It is such a fun hobby. I have been doing this for 20 years um, on October 4th, and it is definitely my joy, my passion, and I love to join you live every morning here. Um, come back and join me again next week. I'll be live again on Monday at 9.30 Mountain Standard Time here in Canada. I'm in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. My name is Rosemary Coleman, and I love, love, love stamping. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.